I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and he is coming quickly and he is coming with vengeance. people of this generation have a major job to do. Our generation, I believe, could be one of the last. I feel that the past years have been pretty tough, but throughout the years we have foolishly allowed corruption to melt into our minds like fire. I'm talking about greed, lust, laziness, anger, and pride. But friends, I'm here to tell you that there's still hope. There's still hope in our generation. Throughout the years growing up with you all, I've met some of the most talented and inspiring individuals. I'm here to let you realize that no matter what life situation we are in, it is our responsibility and full ability to make a change in our lives. When we get out there and live our lives, think about how you will have a lasting impact on society. What will you leave behind and what will you bring? How will you impact the world? For example, there was a man who was well respected. He was well groomed and who was a leader in his society. But this man made such an impact on society that his way of life was still respected and used to guide us to this very day. His obedience and love for his community went a long way, and his character represents the character of a true revolutionary figure and a true king, and that man was Jesus Christ. Live by the way that Christ has shown us to live. It is time for us to stand up and be leaders in our society. It is time to advance the true pursuit of happiness. This is our time and chance to change and get right with God, for we are already worthy of death. And if we want to make it into the kingdom, we must change, and this is only the beginning. Every year, we begin to see more and more how easy it is to strip someone of their culture, their dignity, and to strip them of their happiness and abundance. In this world, the way people describe peace is the disgrace to the actual meaning of peace. Simply our words can destroy the hearts of the people in the world, and we have all failed to realize the amount of power and freedom that God has given us, and have failed to imply that with great power and freedom comes great responsibility. The meaning of life is not to compete for the title of the better man or woman. There is only one Alpha and Omega, and that is the Almighty God, and as for the human race, we are all created as equals. We are worthy of death if we continue our actions of hatred and evil in this world. If there is any chance of hope, to have peace, we need to change our ways. If we continue to do evil, then the ways of evil continue to swallow us and mark my words, we will be punished for it. For the sake of our worth, we need all people of all ages and all ethnicities to stand up and come humbly before the Lord. Flee the ways of the wicked and persevere in the Lord. Encourage each other and arise to new heights. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is time to turn away from our evil desires and repent for our wrongs. It is time to change because the time of the end that no man knoweth the day or hour is very near. I'd rather be taken up and see the kingdom of heaven than to be left behind and be an enemy of our God. Stop allowing the ways of evil to consume you. For the devil's lips are seductive with lies but still deceive many. This world is in for a major awakening. Teach the people in the world to accept and follow Christ so that more will be inspired to turn away from evil and be accepted into the kingdom. Put an end to the petty nature of the flesh. We must fight for good, equality, righteous unity, and to be ex the examples of righteous people that the world most desperately need. We are in times of spiritual and physical warfare. We are in times of great competition. This generation is a very talented and gifted generation, but we still lack the responsibility. We need to stay strong and endure to the end. Because of the many challenges we face, we need to stand strong and work together and work that much harder that the world has become so evil to patiently and positively influence the people in the world in a righteous way. The time is truly imminent. We are running out of time to change before our judgment. So let's do good with what we have. This is it, y'all. This is the last stretch. And blessed are those who endure to the end. This is our mission. To harmonize and to grow. To influence and to lead. To be thankful and to share with others. To live beyond our natural standards with our God-given gifts. To create positivity. 
to lift each other up, even in the hardest times, to give and to build, to imagine and to inspire, to have hope and to dream, to eat and drink together, to explore the world, to help and care for each other, to run through the fields with joy together, to sing and to dance together, to learn and to work hard. This is the true pursuit of happiness, to live righteously in the presence of God. This is what we are here to do, and this is why we must change. Make the right choice and change your ways, for the Lord is coming, and when he comes, those who have not changed will weep. As saints, God commands us all to warn those who do not love, who hold grudges and do not forgive, and those who feed on the ways of the evil one. All evil will die. It is time for to us to end the lifestyle of evil that we have all practiced so dearly, and there's still hope in, left for us, but we need to put it in to our wickedness. Do not follow the ideas of the new age. Learn to love, learn to forgive, and learn to do what is right in the sight of God because soon the Messiah will return and the consequences of hatred, evil, and stupidity will reign over like a stampede on those whose hearts are not changed. Live by the way that the Lord commands and do not give in to the negative. Do what is right no matter what. When the Lord returns for harvest and takes his righteous people, the evil spirits of the earth and Satan himself will be left behind. Which will you choose? Will it be everlasting life in the kingdom of heaven, or will it be to stay behind and experience the full wrath of our God? God is now calling us to make up our minds, and the time is now. Choose your side. Whoever sits in the middle will be spit out of the mouth of God into the lake of fire. Will you choose God, or will you choose evil? The choice is yours. The time is almost up. Repent and turn away from your evil. For if you don't, it will lead to your destruction. The Lord is coming quickly, and blessed are those who take heed to his word and obey him. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all godlessness and wickedness of people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. Since what may be known about God is plain to them, because God has made it plain to them. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that people are without excuse. There are no more excuses for wickedness. God has made it very clear what he wants from us. His word, his word teaches us plainly everything that we need to know. It is time for people to learn the true difference between love and hatred. Now is not the time to be stubborn, for we are in the perilous times spoken in the prophecies. This world is filled with hatred and evil. The devil is the prince of this earth, and his only mission is to steal, kill, and destroy. We need to do what is right, not just for the benefit of oneself, but also for the benefit of all who inhabit the earth, and, to, and for the glory of God. As human beings, we need to respect one another. Love all people, for the Lord tells us to not only love those who love you, but also love your enemies and those who are even strangers to you. Live by God's examples. And treat others how you would want to be treated. Everyone on earth has a purpose, so do not let what you feel is your purpose destroy the hearts and confidence of others. For love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Turn away from lust as it destroys relationships and is clearly something that goes against the commands of God. Turn away from hate, turn away from violence, and turn away from temptation and acting out of fear, for it is in these ways that the devil will try to come against you and make you fall even shorter of the glory of God. We need to take responsibility for our actions and come humbly before the Lord 
we need to unite and correct each other. And until we realize that God is the only Alpha and He will always be the only Alpha, and until we follow the teachings of God, we will never truly be free. Live by the way that God commands. We may not be perfect, but we can still get right with God and change our ways. It is time to be a part of something greater than ourselves. The day of the Lord is near. Our Lord is at the door, and that door is about to open. And Jesus said, But of that day no man knows the day nor hour, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so also will be the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark, and did not know until the flood came and took them all away, so also will be the coming of the Son of Man be. Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken and the other left. The Lord is coming. We are running out of time. The wrath of God is coming. The Lord is coming to take his elect. And we need to pay attention. Repent and turn away from your wicked ways. The time is now. Make your choice.